Hi, I'm Diego and this is Destination Vegas. Today we're going to be checking out the Strat. We're going to be doing a small walkthrough. We're going to check out one of its restaurants and we're going to go to the top of the tower at the Strat. And also, I'm going to be trying out a slot machine. Hopefully I win. So stay tuned here at Destination Vegas. Welcome to Destination Vegas. The adventures of Diego and Tosh in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. And now, here's Diego and Tosh. The Strat Hotel Casino and Sky Pod, formerly known as the Stratosphere, is a hotel, casino, and tower located on the Las Vegas Boulevard, just north of the Las Vegas Strip. The Strat is owned and operated by Golden Entertainment, which acquired the resort in 2017. The property's signature attraction is the 1,149 feet Stratosphere Tower, the tallest freestanding observation tower in the United States. In 2019, Golden Entertainment invested $140 million to renovate the casino, and it shows. They have also added new bars and new restaurants. Speaking of restaurants, I decided to try out their new restaurant and pub. Boulevard and Main Tap House. This place is taking pub fare to a new level with its iconic burgers and over the top creation. You can quench your thirst with your choice of two dozen craft beers on tap while watching sporting events on their LED wall. I decided to try their house brew called Jay Walker and it was very tasty. For food, I went with the view from the top burger. This looks really good. The burger looks so pretty. The bun looks fake. All right, let's try this out. Mm. This is really good. It has a lot of mushrooms, which I love. Because, uh, I believe it's Swiss cheese and arugula. This is definitely a gourmet burger. It's not your average burger. Uh, there's not much sauce. It looks like they have some kind of aioli in here. It doesn't overpower the, the burger, but it's very, very flavorful. Mm. Fries are really good too. I can't tell, but they taste really fresh. They might be hand cut. I was definitely expecting something else, but um, no, this is surprisingly really good. Okay, it's time to visit the Strat Tower. My first stop is the Sky Lounge, which is 107 stories high. Exiting the elevator, you are immediately greeted with a breathtaking view of Las Vegas. There are several tables throughout the Sky Lounge, each with a great view of the Las Vegas skyline. The top of the world's rotating restaurant is located just below the Sky Lounge. I decided to sit at the Sky Lounge Bar and Lounge and try one of their signature cocktails. I ordered a Moscow Mule. Wow, this is one of the best meals I've ever had. Fresh mint, fresh lime, ginger beer, super this is awesome. So if you want drinks with a view, this is the place. Stratosphere on top of the tower. You definitely have to come here. 
let's go check out the outside. To get to the outdoor level, you first have to go through level 108, which is an indoor deck. Here you can buy tickets to the outdoor rides or just take in the fabulous views. There are several sitting areas to enjoy the view. They also have a bar up here as well, the 108 Drinks Bar. Now here is where people jump off the tower. Yes, you can jump off the Strat Tower. Unfortunately, no one was jumping at the time. That yellow fan contraption contains the wire that is attached to a jumper. It's a long way down. <laughs> I wouldn't lean on that glass in the first place. No thanks. To get to the outdoor viewing area, you must go up the stairs. Eight hundred and seventy-one feet. Glad I'm not scared of heights. This must be terrifying to others. I love rotating doors. I can't get over this view. This video doesn't do it any justice. You have to see it in person. This is the view of the Las Vegas Strip. Let's check out the rides. This particular ride is called the X Scream. Unfortunately, no one was riding at the time. Would have loved to show you how it works. The ride teeter totters you over the edge. Pretty scary. There are several binoculars you can use to view the strip throughout the observation deck. The Big Shot is another ride which catapults riders to a height of 1,081 feet and then down again. Unfortunately, no one was riding this as well. While people were waiting in the line for insanity, let's check it out. You'd have to be insane to dangle from the side of a building at more than 900 feet high. Apparently, the ride spins passengers at speeds of up to 3 G's while they're propelled up to an angle of 70 degrees.
That was crazy. Well, I decided it was time to play some slots. I'll tell you what, they did a good job renovating. I used to visit the stratosphere all the time and this place looks 10 times better from before. Even the table game areas got an upgrade. These slot machines look interesting. I'll play here. All right, so let me see if I can explain myself. We're gonna start gambling now. We're gonna be doing a, uh, a slot machine. Now, I don't really like slot machines. They're just not my thing. I play table games, so. But I saw this the other day at uh, on YouTube, and it was the $40 challenge. The idea is, we're gonna play five machines with $40. So, we start off with one machine, and if we make a profit of $10, then we carry on to the next machine. If we lose the entire uh, $40 in one machine, the game is over. So if we do carry on to another machine, we're gonna carry on with $50 or more, and then we're gonna try to win another $10 on top of that. So if we win $60 or more, we go to the third machine. If we win $70 or more, we go to the fourth machine. If we win $80 or more, we go to the fifth machine and so on. So you get the idea. So here's the thing though. If we double our, our money in one machine in one go, then we start back at $40. I hope that makes sense. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so we're betting $1.50. We're at $38.50 left. Uh, nothing so far. All right, that was pretty good. All right. Oh, we're so close. We're 49.60. We're just short $50. Okay, let's try this again. If we go over 50, we go to the next machine. Ah, 49.15. I'm not too sure if you guys can see that. Let me check the phone. Let me make sure you guys can see the cash that I have left. Hold on. Oh yeah. So there you go. All right, let's continue on. Come on, free spins! No! Alright, All right, we're at 42.37. Come on, let's do this. Nada. Free spins, free spins, free spins! We're at 32.50. Come on. All right, all right. What was that? This was 25. Come on, Sterling. Right. That was something. All right. 
960. We're at 3874. We're almost close back to our forty dollars. So. We get to 35 and then I'm gonna change it to a dollar credits. Let's see if that makes a difference. Come on, Spirit. Let's go, let's go. Free spins, free spins. Yeah! Woo! All wins at 3x. All right, let's do this. All right, I'll take that, I'll take that. Come on, more free spins. Alright, two more spins. Ah, uh, 450. Ah, uh, we're still short $50. Okay. Well, we're 40 bucks. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna change the uh, the dollar amount. So I'm gonna play a dollar and see what happens. Sometimes that makes a difference. And once I get to $35, I'll go ahead and uh, change it up to $1.50 again. Hey, you see, it's weird. All right, we're at $42.45. We're still short $50. Fifty. See if that makes a difference. Come on, come on. That was pretty good. Let's 
change it to $2. See what happens. $2. Come on. We're back at 150. All right, come on. Come on, free spin. Let's go. Let's do it. 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 Fuck. Cashing out with seven cents. Can't believe we didn't even go to the next machine. Oh well. That was it. Woohoo! Seven cents. Next time. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have more videos to come, so if you haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button. We will have future videos of the COVID Phase 2 and Phase 3 in Las Vegas, so stay tuned, and as always, see you soon.